Agora TV. The world is thinking. Now, what if this had happened to one of you? What if you had just been prescribed a new medication and, uh, and uh, you'd gone to Walgreens and picked it up and taken the medication and then uh, uh, suddenly uh, uh, fainted and uh, passed out and then told, told your doctor that? One possibility would be that you fainted because you had had one of these episodes, essentially, and that you had had, essentially, a near-lethal arrhythmia. One option to determine whether that drug actually caused that arrhythmia would be, of course, to take the drug again. <laughs> um, and see whether or not uh, it reoccurred. Now, although I'm sure you're supportive of medical research, uh, this is probably not advisable. However, now one could have a different alternative. Perhaps we could recommend that we take a skin biopsy. We take that skin biopsy and grow iPS cells. We grow heart cells from those iPS cells. And then we test the drug on those iPS cells. That, indeed, would be something that you could potentially uh, take part of and be supportive of. So let me take you through that process. A skin biopsy is a relatively simple procedure. You just take essentially the, uh, uh, this, this simple device. It's about the size of a, of a large pencil. And uh, it takes a, a small sample of skin, like you have moles removed, essentially. Then now you can actually take those, the, that piece of skin and put it at the bottom of the plate. And at the bottom of the plate, you can see that there's, after a few weeks, that, that the fibroblasts start to grow out. Now, these fibroblasts are the cells which actually are made by your skin to actually heal a wound. So these cells are thinking that they have a wound to heal, and they're, and they're obviously searching out a place to, uh, to essentially heal. And in fact, uh, although they won't find uh, that place to heal, they serve as a tremendous source of cells for us then to make the iPS cells. These cells we can harvest, and then we can transform them with the, by introducing the Yamanaka factors and uh, turn the fibroblasts into iPS cells. And as shown here, you can see that these cells, this pancake in the center, is very different in morphology than the cells around here. The, this pancake is hundreds of cells, all communicating together, forming what we call a colony, a colony that resembles that inner cell mass in the blastocyst, a colony that resembles, in fact, is identical to the embryonic stem cells as they grow. And you can say that they're, they're very different than the fibroblasts, which are, uh, uh, are around uh, the side over here. Now, once you have this, you can actually pick up these, this colony, and you can propagate it, and you can grow it, and then you can actually transform it into other tissues. And because you have, uh, you can have control over the media and the conditions, you can put up barriers. So you can say, I don't want brain cells. I want to have heart cells and maybe some blood vessels and so on. And you can, you can either tilt it in one direction or the other by placing different barriers, essentially by changing the media that the cells are in. And as a result, what you get is something like this. So these are human pluripotent cells here that have been engineered so that they glow red when they turn into cardiac cells. And so you can see by the very movement that these are cardiac myocytes, the muscle of the, of the heart. 